All right, if you're running PC Health Check to install Windows 11 or update your Windows 11 and you click check now and it's giving you this error, all right? The PC doesn't uh, currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. TPM 2.0 must be supported and enabled on this PC. There's a few things you'll wanna check for. Not all computers will allow this because it might be too old, but uh, first thing, let's check in here if anything else is wrong, no. So we'll close this now, okay? So we're gonna try and fix that TPM 2.0. What you do is you're gonna wanna restart the computer. So I'm gonna right click here and then we're gonna restart. This is a Dell laptop or desktop, um, but laptops would do the same. You would press F2. Depending on your device, sometimes it's delete, sometimes it's F2. If you have a HP, I believe it's F10. Some of them will be F1. So you'll wanna check depending on your device. If you have a Lenovo, sometimes it has a special little um, button hole that you need to use a pin to press and that will let you go into your BIOS but we're gonna press F2 to go to setup here okay so this should open up the BIOS okay once it does that we're gonna go into on this specific one we'll go to boot you see this secure boot we're gonna want to enable that all right it's giving this error Secure boot is not allowed if the system is in legacy boot mode. So we're going to have to go to here, legacy boot or le legacy options ROMs. Press enter, disable that. And then it says that it might not boot. Depending on how you had your Windows installed, it might cause some problems, but uh, you could always change the setting back. Just remember what you had your setting before, all right? If this affects your boot, then you won't be able to update. So keep that in mind, all right? So I'm gonna say yes to continue, and we're gonna uh, re-enable secure boot, okay? And then same thing, it can prevent your operating system from booting, and you might have to reinstall. So um, just in case, you can back up your stuff too, but um, I already tested this because it used to be in secure boot mode. I changed it to um, legacy boot to allow me to boot a device to clone their drive to a new SSD because their computer was slow. All right, and then the next thing you wanna check, you see this has firmware TPM, make sure that's enabled. Depending on your device, it might actually say TPM 2.0 or some other name, they change the name around. So you might wanna look for something similar to this um, trusted platform module, that's what the TPM stands for, okay? So once you do that, you should be okay, at least with this um, Dell computer, that fixes the issue. So we're gonna wait for this to boot back up, okay? And then I'm gonna go back to the health check thing just to show you. And this will allow us to run the um, Windows 11 installation assistant and that will um, update to the later version or update your older OS to Windows 11. So you can see it's starting up, no problems. Okay, all right, there we go. All right, so now that that started up, we're gonna go into the start menu um, and I'm gonna do the PC health check. Okay, so we'll run the PC health check again. And now if I click check now, you can see it meets the Windows 11 requirements. All right, so there we go. Now we can do the installation assistant here. So we'll go into this, downloads, and we'll run the Windows 11 installation assistant. Yes. Okay, and then we can accept and install and it will automatically download the latest version and install it. If it doesn't, you can try running Windows updates after that, but this should update it to the latest. All right, that's pretty much it. Let this run, restart your computer, and you should be good to go. See you guys later, bye.